Welcome back, people. Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do real quick today. I don't know how much time. It's already night. I decided to paint the small piece on the right side. The always signature on it. It's already uh, primed. Now I'm going to paint the cover. I already cleaned it. Cleaned it with the wax and tar remover and stuff. Hit it up with some uh, steel wool. What I'm thinking of doing is painting the chrome green and leaving this part the same color. So, we're going to go ahead and tape this off. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and tape this off. Okay, for this, I'm using what's called self-etching primer. Not right, much left, yeah? I'm going to turn some green onto that. Alright, let that dry. I think that's going to look good. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm taking the screws and I'm going to put them in my drill. Not going to tighten it, just going to put it in there enough to hold it. Take the steel wool and then just drive the screw down and turn it on. Nice, that cleans it up very nice. Take it out of there. Hmm, look how clean that is. Prayer tag. Hope you can see it. Nice and clean. This is ready to be painted. Let's go ahead and spray this on there. I think that's all it's gonna need. Alright, that's got the second coat. This has the flex coat on it. I think that looks pretty cool. That one will let dry. I do have to do some sanding. I got some runs right in here. Uh, so that's going to have to dry overnight, a day or two, before I uh, go ahead and do any sanding to it. This looks. Uh, I'm going to let this dry overnight too. Do some light sanding. There's a couple of pieces here and here that I'm not crazy about. It's a little high. I have to just quickly hand sand that down and then give it a clear coat. Alright, that's it for tonight. It's not much, but you should get an idea of what I'm doing here with the uh, air filter cover. I don't know what that's called. It goes, uh, it's the color for the camps, little side cover. So uh, hopefully that'll match pretty damn good when I'm done. I hope the heat doesn't affect it. I don't think this is going to get that hot, but that might. We'll see. See what happens. Uh, it should withstand it, I think. It should withstand the heat, but we'll see what happens, like I said. That's all I got. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. So thanks. Leave some feedback. Tell me what you think of my redneck paint job. And, uh, I don't know, let me know. Bike's come along really nice. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. It's almost done in the rear. I got the gas tank, the front fender, the fairing. Uh, both sides. I'm going to do the outside of the fairing or the front of the fairing and I'm going to take the gauges and all that out and do the inside of the fairing too. And uh, that should look real sharp once it's done. Hopefully. Alright you all, have a good night. I know I probably said this a couple of times. I'm not even sure. Getting old, man. I'm getting old. God bless you all. Thanks for being subscribers. Thanks for all the feedback. And uh, I really appreciate the genuine uh, comments and feedback and friendships that have begun to develop here on YouTube. All right, bye-bye.